Hello there, and welcome to The Witcher 3 Offstream Playthrough. I am back, and I am aware the last episode was for Audacious some reason... Rat the Cidrian, but we'll get in. Okay, Damien. Uh, for some reason, the last episode was a little quiet on my end. I'm not sure. My, my audio was pretty shit, but hopefully I fixed it by now. Um, I don't know what the fuck happened, but hey. We're keeping up with the old fucking storyline, and I'm really excited to find out what the hell is going to happen here. We got a vampire to try to reverse blackmail or something? I don't know, at this point. No such thing as an unsightly lady. Life in an impression of that dear. sort uh, means but a shortage. Oh my god. Such characters in these places, eh? Such fucking characters. Tweedledum. Tweedledee tweedledum. Everybody's drunk around here. Should I kill some drunks? <laughs> What's up, Roach? Let's not kill some drunks today. They'd probably, uh... <laughs> They'd be a little pissed off. Did Geralt just purr back to Roach? That's hilarious. Okay. We are heading toward a man from Sintra. This is optional. Put clothes... Oh, yeah, we need to go get some clothes. Yes, the princess, duchess, whatever the fuck. Your highness has requested that I go get some nice clothes. And you know what? I'm not opposed to doing that. I like a nice set of clothes. Oh, my God. What? Um, what, what? Oh, I have the wrong sword out. Excuse me, boys. I just gotta get my sword out here. That'll do it. Alright, bitch. Oh. Alright, that guy had a name. And I chopped him in half. It actually looked like more like four pieces, actually, so... Oh, yeah. Right down the middle. Nice and toasty. Oh, right in the face. Okay, I'll give you that. That was a good shot. Okay, can we... Let's stop playing this game. <laughs> Did anybody spell barbecue? Oh, you are alive? That man was a survivor. Hmm. Didn't look like locals. Amy was right. I'm a hunted man. Oh, I see. So they were after me. They did say my name or something. They were like, hey, it's that guy. That's it, Rose. Kill him. Oh my god, look at these strumpets. Ah, he the horny one. It's a pack of strumpets right in the middle of the road. Get the fuck out the road, strumpet. Good lord. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous place to be. There's there's bandits about. They're trying to kill me. I don't know why I'm particularly Irish today, but I'm just kind of feeling it. It's just such a fantasy world, you know? It's like so, so fantastical. I think I'm going 100% the wrong direction, but at the same time, it would make sense for there to be a... Yeah, there is a clothing in the shop, like right up, right up and a left and then a right, and there we go. Okie dokie that. Pardon me, fuckers. I might have a nip to eat real quick as well. Hold on now, calm your, calm your tits. I was just trying to eat some mutton, guys. Nice tune. Nice tune. I didn't hear anything, Gerald. You're hearing shit? You having problems with your mind these days? Ooh. <laughs> Plow right through some poor civilians. We're just taking a little saunter through the town, I guess. I forgot that we have to ride extra slow when we're inside the town. It's kind of stupid. Slower, you say? Okay, I don't, th I don't think so. Oh! Oh, to you as well. Ooh! I've been here before, for sure, right? Yeah, I've been here. What's up, Pierre? Ah, welcome back to our northern dandy. It's good to be here. I need some things. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Let's see it. I wonder if they actually have special stuff. Okay, so I have bought all of these before. I've definitely been to this place. Oh man, I think we gotta go all out though, because I think I put it in my in my chest to store it, and this is not that expensive. So I'm just gonna go all out and buy some stuff. Some bullet clear trousers. Oh ho ho. And um, maybe this could be good for something. I'll buy a couple of these. Just because I'm feeling frivolous. I've already got a wolf mask, don't you worry about that. Okay. Perfecto mundo. I'm definitely not playing this guy in Gwent. I remember he's beat my ass a couple times. Thanks. I think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant, sir. Okay, so put on clothes that will be considered appropriate. 
you got it. Princess, your highness. Oh my god. Holy cow. Now I'd say... That's some pretty sexy shit. That is some pretty sexy shit. Ah. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Tip of the hat to the Torney's victor. Oh, yeah, I did win the Torney, didn't I? Thanks for the reminder. Feel pretty good about that. Okay, and there was a fast travel point right down here, and hopefully it's not going to be too far away because we got a party to get to. That is the plan for today. There's so many parties in this game. It's just like go kill a bunch of stuff, and then in two missions we'll have a party, and that's a great time. And it's just right down the street. I don't even need to use a fast travel point. Fucking a roach. Come, Come on. on. Come on now. Is it down this road, though? This is the one thing about this map, is I don't know it very well. And this big city area is really something. It's kind of vertical as well. A wolf lost in the big city. Here we go, right around the corner. It's party time. <laughs> this is not exactly the music that you'd expect, but it's very, uh, it's a very classy affair, clearly. Mmm! It really is, though. Wait. Okay, nobody's here. Now, why does that not surprise me? But he looks good. Seems like I, uh, I may have fucked up. Was this part of the story, though? Was I supposed to be here at a certain time? He sits here and ponders these questions. Until some random bitch arrives. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Oh, is this the, the Duchess? Right, okay, yeah. My, my, <laughs> Geralt. For some reason I thought this was the party, but we're waiting to go into the and party. even a mask. Uh-huh. Not the kind required. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Don't make They're me take a it off. different, the ones Mandragora No, no, no. Wear. I brought you one. No! Done. Oh, frog. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, this is horrifying. I miss my wolf mask. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. I mean, I figured that would probably be the case, yeah. I don't know if I'd call that wise. That's just regular badass kind of shit where you have to be like, Hey, maybe I should put my death tools away so I can get into this classy soiree. Just another Friday How night. How do we you know? find this Intrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Bada bing, bada boom. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come. It's our turn. All right, Centrin, we're coming for you. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Oh, yeah? We're at a showcase we got going on here. What are these performances we're talking about? Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer oh, whose ho, ho. where its stone would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. I see. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Oh. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? The third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. Oh, ho, ho. well. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm exactly. Sure Nothing sketchy going on, that's for sure. With her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now. But I can give you a clue. Oh, fucking Let's hear it. Riddle me this. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. 
Ah, uh, okay, well that is, that's a good hint, actually, okay. Oh, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. Huh. Meanwhile, I'm here wearing this piece of shit mask. The this is pretty nice, though. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Fair point, fair the point. Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Alright. As I said before, bada bing, bada boom. Tis how it works. That's typical sneaky shit. Okay, we're looking for flowers and hair. Potentially my uh, witcher sensors are going to be some use here. Be bold. Show us the artist in you. The paint balls. Cast them at the canvas. What? Oh, really? Okay. Good folk. Yet another soul longing to express its creative side. Well. How do I throw them? You and mother are. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay there. <laughs> um. How do I do this? I'm drinking potions. Um, potentially... Oh, it's probably gonna be... Aha, here we go. It's gonna be the same old, same old. Okay. Yes? No? Yes? No? <laughs> this is not working very well, is it? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at the painting. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's nice and um, maybe a nose? Oh yes, big nose, and then we can give it a nice blue mouth, or maybe a red mouth. That is much more, much more. Uh... Oh yes, yes, it is a beauty. Look at it. Oh, it's a gorgeous painting, is it not? Kissed by the gods. Oh, <laughs> look at these hues. <laughs> I have to swallow all of them. Oh my god, this is going to be a horrifying painting. Okay, well, we're going to go for the blue hair. Blue patches of hair. Right on the top. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot of paint. That was not intentional. <laughs> okay, excuse me, princess. Oh, look, it's the purple. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, yes. Yes, it's amazing. Oh, it's a beautiful painting, is it not? Um, is there more paint? Please do not disturb. What? Why is there no more paint? Is there paint on the ground? It says 15. Uh, do you happen to have any paint? Discard paint. Voila! Fin. Now, allow me a moment to ponder. Oh? My appraisal? The painting depicts spiritual dualism. Huh? The continual battle between good and evil. And... Defiance. <laughs> all right. Oh yes, that's him, all right. I think it looks Ooh, more like the Joker, but okay. Dualistic nature of man. And defiance. There you go. Look at that. Doing a little fucking like deeper stuff here. Getting into my own psyche. It's rather a painting. It's very absinthe. The preferred hooch of artists. Careful. It packs oh. a pretty powerful punch. Okay, I didn't even built up a pretty powerful oh. resistance. Wow, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, yeah, you see, you're... Oh, wow, okay, he, he went from very drunk to very sober very quickly. Which is pretty impressive, Geralt, I'll have to give you that. Oh, are we playing tug-of-war here, boys? Wait, oh, they're miming it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at that, they're pretty good. Nice, good shit, boys, good shit. Okay, they're in tandem. They're working together. Should have given them a tip or something. Should have chucked some coins at their faces. Oh my god, this is quite a fucking place. Well, I should be looking for a flower. I just drank a whole shot of absinthe and I'm not even paying attention. We wish to be alone. Please, leave. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I was just interrupting. Sorry about that. What are these? Han fibers. Fuck off. Oh, it's a nice little... Ooh, my god. I love the little boats. Oh, the, the art is very impressive, actually. Yeah, Jesus. Whew! This place is a gorgeous... Rich-ass place. Look at the mage. I believe he's casting... Oh! Yeah. Bro! See, 
Look at you! Nice, nice spell, dude. I've never seen that one. That ain't no Harry Potter shit I've ever seen before. Oh, he just talking too. He just going. Oh, hey! <laughs> Spirit dolphins. You know, you don't see that every day. Hell yeah, the wealthy townsmen love it. That is pretty gorgeous. That's pretty cool. If there's anything cooler than training actual dolphins, it's spirit dolphins. The man is a true artist. Impressive. Um, Duchess, excuse me. Oh, a script. Scrap. What? Wait, this is written for a Witcher? The Bitsoton Witcher by Francois de Valier. Night thick as mud envelops a dense wood. A full moon hangs in the sky above the trees. Note, scenography must include a representation of the full moon. Wolves howl plaintively in the distance. A witcher walks through the woods and careful measured strides. He wields a silver blade in his hands. God's damn all the moon is at large. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to like do a witcher voice as the French guy. The moon is at fullest. Long have I awaited this night. Three weeks I've spent in that foul pit to catch a lone werewolf. Oh, I've been there. I've been there, buddy. Certain sense of regret, perhaps I should take her with me. You hear the snapper breaking behind the witcher. He turns around swiftly, guards raids, he spies a werewolf. I've got you now, beast. Rawr! <laughs> the werewolf removes its mask, the witcher can see it's Miller's daughter. He's astonished, he does not know what to do. What the fuck? Well, what now? Will you kill me, or perhaps, perhaps you'll take me with you? Jesus Christ. That was horrifying. I didn't like that. Moving along. Oh. What are you looking at, Duchess? Attentions. I was prepared for all sorts of criticism. Staring at uh, some apples. Attentions. Listening to the guy? Should we talk to this guy? Blah, blah, blah. Can I, I talk to him? Attentions. No. I was prepared for all sorts okay, bye-bye then. I don't actually care about your feelings and problems. Sorry. This is the entrance, isn't it? Fuck. Okay, this place is big. <laughs> There's a lot going on, too. This is a party and a half. I have not had enough to drink to be this confused, I'll tell you that. Have I not heard? Wait, so... Is there only just like a certain few areas that can contain this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't mind me stealing, noble woman. I am not a noble man. You'll see that as I steal directly in front of your face. So it seems like there's like two or three areas in this zone that are searchable. Is that the case? Yes. So th these are... Oh, the alcoves. So they are in the alcoves. Got it. But I'm not seeing any fucking flowers in the hair that I can tell. I don't know. We'll try over here and we'll, we'll loop back again. Oh shit, they got the dolphins hopping, man. Okay, it could be any of these little areas, apparently. Yes, yes, no. Are you a woman with a flower in her hair? Excuse me. Old woman. I'm not a woman. Here we go, this has got to be it. Oh, for sure. She got her tits out, too. Avert your eyes, children. Look at the flower. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Sorry to interrupt, boy. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Oh, oh me, oh my. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good painting. Flower. There it is. Of course it is. A Kaviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not Woof. <laughs> this man takes pride in his art. There's a lovely portrait. I'll, I'll compliment it because I did actually see the portrait and I think it's, you know, it's not a bad, you know, you're doing an okay job. So maybe that'll calm him down. Wow. Impressive portrait. I wonder if I could buy it. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. Ah, the see, now we're really. Has hurt off me. <laughs> now we're really buttering him up. Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? 
When he learned I only F paint nudes, he <laughs> suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. This is this man's strictly I nudes. To paint her such a shame. Wow, I that's a real brand. You may still get your chance. Whoa. All right. We came here to meet you specifically. To meet me? But why? Watch her not even be. Sentry and Noble, you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Sintria Noble. Ah, I, I knew it. I knew it. You must think I'm Cecilia. Yeah, she's not. Orchid uh, confused me. Yeah, fuck. I told you not to move. As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. Ah. I it, but I did see the nobleman. Really liked to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift, a heart-shaped box. Whoa! And they strolled off Fucking together Nirvana? towards the refreshment tables. He threw an entire Excuse album at her? Madame, monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. It's a good album. It's a good, uh... Yeah, it's a good song. I don't even know what album that, that one's on, but... It's a good gift. Alright, well, heart-shaped box it is. Um, we're looking for a record player, I guess record player. They probably have it on record now. These days. They don't need record players back here. They got these fucking... Where is the band, actually? Because they're playing it up. Woo! <laughs> Dropping heat! Where's y'all's record? You got an album coming out? I wish I had the option to dance. What the hell? Every other party has the option to dance. Not this one? God damn it. Okay, so she. Oh, we can, maybe we can. Color is but the shadow get these of paintings too. What the hell's this? <laughs> Love letter. Love letter penned on a napkin. Look. Is this relevant? Fabian. What is this fucking oh, pulp fiction? My sunbeam flittering across the firmament of my life. Okay, these are kind of cool. Tricky refuse. Oh my. Interesting paintings. Really interesting paintings. Whoa, okay. There's a burst of Ludwig. Ludwig, I can't read. I can't read. What am I taking part in here? Is this food tasting or something like that? Oh. Empty heart-shaped box. Here we go. Celia must have left it behind. It looks like it held the flask. I was trapped inside your heart shape. It still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. I wonder how much my painting's gonna sell for. <laughs> Maybe this was just appearing into my psyche. I'm not sure they're gonna sell that one off. It's probably worth too much, to be honest. Okay, we got a scent to follow. We're like a fucking wolf. Here we go. I was going the right way, actually. My wolf senses are tingling. Also, I saw that big curtain there. That was a little conspicuous. Oh, we weaving. She was like a snake. Oh, she took the long route. Oh, nice. Okay, there's a door down here. Oh, shit. Look, lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Oh, hello, bodyguard. Don't look so tough to me. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Yeah? Come. We must consider what to do. Hmm. I... I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Oh, shit. You... you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Oh, Shh. boy. Not so loud. We are here incognito on state business. Keep it in your pants there. Yes, Your grace. How may I serve? Man, so many people love... They love the queen. They love the old... Um, I keep wanting to call her a queen or a princess, but she's a duchess, right? But everybody's all up her ass. Don't fucking tell anybody about this, all right? I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course, I shall be silent as the grave. Oh, that's good wording, because if you don't, you'll be there too. Looking for Cecilia Belland. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent. A drawl of oh, sorts. Oh, he had a southern drawl on him? Must be him. 
Oh boy. Let's get to the dressing room quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. Okay. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Shrimpy boy. Understood. Big old shrimp bodyguard. Thanks Quick, for the help. Upstairs. Okay, well that worked out pretty well. I thought I was gonna have to chop that guy's head off. Where to? What? We checking all the rooms? Oh, is there? Oh, am I still following the scent? Of course. Let's kick it down. Hello? Oh. That. Oh. No. That must be Cecilia. I should have expected something like no this. No pulse. We're too late. Shit. He, he slit her throat. The brute. Oh, time to take the mask off. Go out the door. The guard would have noticed. Get Might serious. still be somewhere here. Oh yeah. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana at once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Good Get point, up actually. Be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Uh. You'll be fine, eh? She does seem. She can handle herself. I mean, she is the fucking Duchess, but oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. Quick and easy, eh? Anything in here? Oh. <laughs> I'm a sucker for some loot, I gotta say. Tore down the door. Bloody handprint. Data platform. Mm -hmm. Clever. It's his. Oh! Must be pretty strong, too. Clearly. Okay, wow. This That's pretty clever, actually, to use the door as a little drawbridge. Sneaky. Mm, must have climbed this ladder. This ladder? Ah, yes. This ladder that I have yet to notice. Where? <laughs> what? Oh, I see. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, this little... Is this preset path? Is this some premeditated shit? Probably. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. Oh boy. Um. What? Smashed mirror. Someone crashed into it hard and sank to the floor. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. So they. They got a couple people probably. We got Bloodstains. some blood. Piecing it together. We're sure locking this shit. Sure locking this shit Makes down. A snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Oh, speaking of Jewel, give me that. Links of a snap chain. Oh no. Jewel must have been on it. No, I'm trying to steal Geralt. Precious stone. There we go. Bloody fingerprint on it. Oh, it he seems like that's this. part of must the evidence. Have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace. Seems there was a struggle. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Oh yeah, there's the loot that I'm looking for right there. And then, okay, we got a bunch of shit. Damn, it's like he came up here and just tried to mess up the room to leave a trail. Sconce is bent, smeared with blood. Someone tried to grab it. That or there was a huge ass fight. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out, fall out. I bet somebody was thrown out, to be honest. Because, I mean, he probably smashed somebody into the Empty mirror. Well, knocked over, turned toward the room. Empty inkwell. Not that. Dover turned toward the room. <laughs> Stop it. Stop repeating this. This is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Okay, knife possibly used on the victim as well. Poof. Okay, uh, I think that's probably about it, other than this. Here it is. Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Probably. Okay, I'd say we are all Jewel set. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. Ah. Who would have thought he'd be a fucking vampire, too? Probably, right? Oh. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Hello. Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. Don't worry, I'm a good guy. Up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. 
Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. Shit I'll let the staff have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, it's pretty unlucky if you sit. end up dating the murderer, though. I will it's tell you pretty everything bad. in full detail. That is bad as it gets, I'd say. Murderer vampire. I That's at the top of the list. <laughs> attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. All right. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. There you go. Just so. There you go. I knew that. Okay, yeah, attacking him was probably not the best idea, but I mean, at the same time, I get it. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go into it. I'm not going to lecture this lady. to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. Well, they got a big old slab of watermelon. ...table pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. He left it right Why there on the table, the too. Toussaint? What? Rihanna, how did you ever come to have it? Oh, so she's not supposed it. to. Many years ago, from oh. a young woman. The heart of Toussaint. That sounds pretty important. What is this jewel? Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. Uh, I didn't think we would ever recover it. Stolen. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. Premeditated. Thievery. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. It's a good doodle. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So. So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. There you go. Probably. Can't hurt. That's literally all we have, I think. What is this? Duntine. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. Well, apparently I've More been there. Recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? Roderick. His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. There's a lot of fucking vandals around in this world, isn't there? Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Yeah. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. There you go. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. Exactly. You just keep anyone. your mouth stuffed with all this nice food in front of you. Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? Oh? You must excuse me a moment. The shrimp guard is back. Okay, well, we're getting to the bottom of it. I, I don't really trust anybody in this, to be honest. I don't even know if I trust the, uh, the Duchess at all, either. She's been a little too, uh... I don't know. I've just kind of learned you can't really trust anybody in this. What do you think about her? Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward. But in her presence, I sense anxiety, mm. discomfort. That's what I'm thinking, too, exactly. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Ah. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Bada bing. You're not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the son real. And so to steal the heart of Toussaint. There's something Look, going down. The wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? I think not. Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. Yeah, that's probably pretty likely. 
Um, it, you are pretty it important. could be something else altogether. Yeah, that's pretty hopeful. What? See, see, it's lines like that that I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Are you just being emotional? My or sister, I... Siana, oh. might be among the schemers. Here we go. This is where the she truth left comes out. court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. That'll do it. I've not seen her since. That'll do it. Well, um, yeah, what happened? What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... Cursed. Oh. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Well, that sounds like some voodoo yeah, shit. Is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? I mean, Could astrologists would might say so. <laughs> they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. Yeah. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. Really? I recall one such situation. Judging by her upbringing, I wouldn't have thought. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. That's some Anakin Skywalker shit right we there. We children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had. That he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and oh. killed his brother. What? She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. Shit. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. I mean, goddamn. But why would she be involved in coming after you, you think though? your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather oh. possessive. Well, of course. Throwing okay. jealous fits Of course. I, I, I don't even know why I asked that question. Of Here course, she's the fucking... Sisters. She's well, the duchess. <laughs> I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl. Someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen, or recovered. It's my sister. Yeah. It must be. A I'd say you're onto something here. Satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries. Hmm. Could be right. Yeah, it's a pretty good guess. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did. She is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. Oh, look at that. She still cares. Yeah, I got it. I mean, I, I really can't promise it. Yeah, but that's... That's <laughs> That's a tough one. Uh, I'll just... I'll, I'll see to it. I'll, I'll reassure her that I will try my very hardest, yeah? I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her. Sister to sister. Sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, oh. I'd like to introduce... Oh, boy. Regis! Hey! It's the vampy boy! I no you are in Beauclerc. Oh, what? And wait, this is... wait, wait, wait. The guy's here, too. Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretane. An arrival from Nazaire. Yeah, We are lending Whoa. our combined resources to the Witch's Hunt. Motherfucker. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. Uh -huh. We've known each other for ooh, ages, literally. A ages, huh? You're a vampire too, bitch. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. I do. Even you are friends. Yeah, we had a drink a couple nights ago. Um, yeah, yes. <laughs> you I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kind of hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Indeed. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits, 
He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm-hmm. You okay, said your things got very interesting very quickly. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, hmm. knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. <laughs> Talking gets the job done for some. Indeed. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. Oh my god. What might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice. When loved ones are at risk and require uh, <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah. Just like humans, I guess. I mean, I kind of feel like... Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. Yeah, here we go. This is an interesting... If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trait for now. Regis mentioned you come from the <laughs> I, I like how they, they can act like they don't Fun understand. Memories. It was wonderful. How can you not see there's deeper shit being talked about right now? Fashions. Deep cut dresses I found most fascinating. Come on, I Duchess. I believe you're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Fucking A, bring six. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. <laughs> we shall return forthwith. Oh, here we go. Oh, are we going to leave the guy? Isn't he going to kill everybody? <laughs> no, he's, he's being blackmailed, so he's not going to kill everybody. He's just going to kill the people he has to kill. don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. My, my. I'm exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Yeah, what the Geralt, fuck, dude? Uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are going to watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. I guess Get that's true. Buildings, you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Oh, Renner. Okay, well... Is this... No, it's not a fucking coincidence. I'm not even gonna ask him that. I just... I don't even... Where, I know some stuff now. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntime Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renner must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long lost sister there too. Wow. Thing is, everybody's she hanging might there. Be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean Pretty to likely. Say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Pretty much. I mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got away with. No, Regis. Can't risk it. You got right away with Dedloff words or vampires? Yeah. Alone? Don't Alone. Even... Yes. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. Exactly. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaf. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, man. Thanks for throwing a wrench in the system here. I didn't even realize what we were getting into here. This really came out of nowhere. Again, you can't expect anything oh, in this game. I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, Choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. <laughs> Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis. Gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace. Always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? Of course, madame. Let me say goodbye to the vampires first. <laughs> These fucking guys. I'm just crashing the party. All right. Enjoy your wine. You probably can't you fucking drink it. You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Yeah. I. I could you pick up on any of the vibes going on there? Um. <laughs> what did he tell you? Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much. But I have a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive for a week at court otherwise. Yeah, that's so what, what I was saying. What do you got? Sensitive. What do you got? Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Okay, okay. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. It was a fun little party, huh? Die. 
But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Oh yeah, all mm -hmm. business. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. Oh yeah? You will meet them at Count de la Croix Mill. Oh, it stands oh. along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, madame. You've got it. What a lovely painting of the... The grapes. Everybody loves their fucking wine in this DLC. I wonder why. Oh, am I just getting thrown right into it again? Can I put my mask on? I miss my mask, please. Oh, I'm back. We fucking did it. Okay, that was a whole ass quest. Man, there's so much talking in this DLC. It's insane. Um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dialogue. But it's cool. I really like the dialogue. I, I get pretty absorbed into it. I can't even help myself. Okay, I got a cool new mask out of it, too, that I'll never wear. And I got my wolf mask back on, and we're going to put my clothes back on, because this is not badass enough. If you ask me, boom, we back. Okay, I, I probably could do with putting some runes inside my stuff. But um, either way, that I'll probably do off recording. Um, and next time, we're going to go to... What the fuck? Uh, what was it? Something done? The place of the pig stat the the pig signia? The pig signia. Okay, everybody's yelling. Let's find a nice spot to end off. A nice view. Holy shit, what a mountain. Oh, it's nice and nice and peaceful out here. Holy fuck. Look at this fucking view. Jesus Christ. Why can't my house have such a view? <laughs> I probably would have to pay for a house with such a view. Um, damn. Cool episode, cool party. Vampire stuff. You can't escape it. Blood and wine. More coming soon. Leave a like if you made it this far, and I will catch y'all in the next one. See you then.